okay guys how are you doing today great good to hear right so this is another video but this time around uh, we are going to look at this with respect to series meaning that we're going to be doing a few videos every now and then talking about what's happening in the world yes you heard me what's happening in the world as we all know in the foreign exchange market based on what's happening to this country's economy or that country's economy we can take advantage whether it's good or bad we can be buying that currency or we can be selling that currency right so quickly now what's the main thing happening in this world right in the world that we live in today now we have the crude oil that has been in the news for a few days to I believe about a week there about now now what is so unique about this crude oil uh, well the crude oil seems to be dropping the price of crude oil per barrel seems to be dropping as a matter of fact they recorded not just zero dollars per barrel but minus right i think about minus 37 dollars for the wti so crude oil has been in the news for a while now right so we're going to talk about crude oil and how we can you know take advantage of this information because information at the end of the day is key and it's that information we're going to be using to make a decision of whether to buy or to sell right now we're going to be looking at this crude oil with respect to the fundamentals and also with respect to the technicals right with respect to the fundamentals and also the technicals the fundamentals has to do with the news while the technicals has to do with the charts right and uh, it's always good where we make use of the two of them no trader should pick one over the other uh, the two are very important as a matter of fact you must combine the two in order to have good trades so we're going to be starting first of all with the fundamentals and we are going to be looking at the forces of supply and demand yes forces of supply and demand as we all know well it doesn't mean you read accounts or finance or any of those topics supply and demand is something that happens to us on a daily basis it could be based on transportation based on food or whatever reason whatsoever that means that we must know what happens when supply is greater than demand and also what happens when demand is greater than supply I believe we talked about this in the support and resistance video you could uh, go through the list see the video on support and resistance and watch it where we said when supply is greater than demand the price is going to fall and when demand is greater than supply the price is going to appreciate right that has to do with supply and demand now with respect to this crude oil that we're talking about the crude oil is heavily affected by this lockdown that we're seeing globally it's been affected negatively right by this crude oil that we're seeing worldwide right so or rather sorry by this lockdown that we're seeing worldwide now this lockdown is obviously as a result of something that is happening and it's happening worldwide and that has to do with the COVID-19 right the coronavirus that has been spreading rapidly right and uh, well not to say where it started from uh, there's a lot of talk about it starting from China starting from the laboratory in Wuhan and so on but we are not here to talk about that what we're here to talk about is the implications right the implications of what is happening with respect to this coronavirus and the lockdown right now when it comes to this crude oil uh, everything in life has to do with supply and demand as i said earlier now when it comes to the crude oil and the effect of this coronavirus the thing that is happening now is that crude oil is in excess supply yes you heard me excess supply and we said earlier we said earlier that when we have supply greater than demand that the price is going to fall but this time around is in excess supply because crude oil has been you know 
and the business as a whole business as a whole has been hindered by this coronavirus so the lockdown isn't allowing anything to move in or to move out right and because of that there's nobody to sell this crude oil to and then when it comes to the physical crude oil right there is this issue when it comes to the storage facilities getting filled up so the storage facilities are getting filled up and nowhere to put uh, the excess crude oil we can easily see on our charts we're going to see we're going to take a look at our chart shortly you can see on our charts that crude oil has been falling not just this week not just because uh, this is uh, the 4th of may right so not just this week but rather it has been happening that crude oil has been falling for a few months now especially because of this pandemic that we are seeing uh in this year 2020 right so these storage facilities are getting filled up and obviously what would happen shortly or i believe that should already uh should have kicked off already the the they would have to cut uh down on production of this crude oil right and something else that most likely they're going to do is to ease this uh, restriction on movement to ease the lockdown and they will start to allow business to commence again so they're going to allow business to commence once again because obviously it's crippling the economy worldwide and obviously there's also speculation of global recession there's also speculation of global recession and trust me uh, i'm sure you would agree that that is already in the pipelines because everything has been put to a standstill right so the risk of this covid 19 right based on crude oil is that they will have to ease up on the lockdown and um it's a big risk when it comes to this covid 19 because it can pick up and spread rapidly right the numbers seem to have been dropping uh globally we have over 2 million uh cases and the number seems to be dropping in some countries but trust me if they start to ease up on the lockdown and people start to move about and businesses start to you know go back as usual offices are opening uh the uh you know roads are filled up concerts and people just you know generally going back to their day-to-day -day activities that was halted based on the pandemic trust me this uh uh you know this crude oil is going to drop heavily right because most likely uh, you can see that i'm even stalling i'm stalling because i can't think of how you know terrible this might be but at the end of the day we pray for the best right so this is just to talk about this uh crude oil and what's happening to it now so we're going to do something we're going to grow gradually cross over to the chat to see how we can take action to take advantage of what is happening with respect to this COVID-19 that has caused lockdown globally and is allowing crude oil to fall and to fall and more or less to have a free fall. We're going to cross over to the charts now to see what is happening with respect to this crude oil. Remember we said we we're going to be talking about uh, uh, crude oil based on the fundamentals and then based on technicals. So now this is the chart that we have based on crude oil and if you look very well you can see that this chart of crude oil is showing that the trend is down right the trend is down and as the trend is down we have our support and resistance levels marked here right what we use in trading is support and resistance and price action so in a downtrend normally based on price action the trend trend is down so in a downtrend normally we're expecting to sell and obviously we've just talked about the fundamentals and we already know why it's a downtrend so it's a downtrend basically because of this pandemic and then it is for us to be looking forward to selling in a downtrend and we're looking forward to selling in areas of resistance in areas of resistance don't forget we talked about uh, supply and demand which uh, we explained that based on support and resistance when demand is greater than supply uh, we have the price going up and that is at the support level and when supply is greater than demand we have the price going down and that is at resistance so it's for us to be able to identify these areas of resistance this is an area of of formal support now turned resistance 
resistance, resistance on every uh, 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 retest or pull back to that area. We have here support, 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 and support. And then when it broke out, we had this gap here, and this was based on expiration. Uh, crude oil based on futures tends to expire on a monthly basis. So we had this gap here, and then what happened? It dropped uh, further down, and this was a heavy drop. And this was when we recorded uh, futures for crude oil getting to a point of zero dollars and even uh, turning negative. Now, if you look closely, we had price pull back to an area now of resistance, and as of resistance, it now retraced back to an area of support here. Now, look at what happened uh, from last week. Last week, we had the market pull back to this area now of resistance right don't forget support and resistance has to do with supply and demand that helps us to easily identify the areas that were supposed to be entering the market to sell in a downtrend and then entering the market to buy in an uptrend and this is clearly a downtrend and we've just explained based on the fundamentals what is happening to crude oil so we're looking at this on the technicals and you can see that the market just opened as i said today is the 4th of may and the market just opened and it opened slightly with a gap right so uh, what we should be expecting from this area here from what we have here we should be expecting the market to at least to retest this area of support and probably drop further down right some brokers are already sending sending messages out that if it gets to a particular level that most likely that broker for crude oil they will be on close only close only meaning that obviously that broker doesn't want to liquidate because if a lot of traders are you know trying to buy this because people believe that it has gotten to rock bottom and then it's time to start buying but trust me as countries seem to be easing up on this lockdown especially oil producing countries now as they begin to ease up on this lockdown if this should backfire which i pray it doesn't if it backfires this crude oil is going to come crashing down and obviously we would have that zero dollar uh, uh handle again that will be tested so basically what we have over here looking at this chart uh we have the market reacting to an area of resistance now well you can also call it a flip zone a flip zone is an area that acts as support and also as resistance so now let's look at how this chart goes now don't forget this is based on what is happening in the world and what's happening in the world based on the COVID-19 uh, which has caused a lockdown and of course affecting businesses all over the world including crude oil and crude oil is based on the excess supply that is that is available now and based on the physical uh, product uh, storage facility getting overfilled uh, if this continues and they have to call up another you know tighter lockdown this is going to make the crude oil trust me to fall heavily so i know that there are lots of traders already selling here at this 20 dollar uh, area of flip zone support and resistance and well only time we tell now today is the fourth of uh, may as i said let's see how crude oil let's see how the lockdown let's see how this covid 19 hopefully they <coughs> excuse me hopefully they find the vaccine very soon or hopefully they find drugs or whatever you know they get to slow down this uh this pandemic right so god help us all let's see what this market has to bring uh today happens to be a sunday as well oh forgive my manners uh happy new month to everybody right so this is what i have for you based on this uh crude oil let's see how it goes you can watch this video over and over again or whenever you watch this video you can always go back and check what happened maybe from tomorrow 5th of may 6th of may 7th of may basically let's see how this week could could be the market could store here and range here for a while uh but this week is very crucial especially because a lot of countries are set to ease up on the lockdown so thank you everybody for staying tuned i hope you got something out of this information based on crude oil and then we'll see you at a later video it was a pleasure uh doing this for everybody and then we'll get to talk about um another video on what is happening thank you everybody enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye